John Majorowski, and we're talking about the video boroscope. Walk us through the line here. So you're looking right there at the BK3000, just a lot of the basics that you'd need a boroscope for inspection and things like that. Then we move up into the BK5600. You have a larger screen and you have more capability to store images and other kind of things. We then move up to the BK6500. This part of the imager has a cord, but you're able to be further away from the screen so you can get closer into the work you want to look at. And then finally the BK8500, which is the wireless handle that you see here. So you really have untethered freedom to look through. It also has the largest screen available. I'm taking a look at this imaging head here. This one is considerably smaller and narrower than the standard issue. What comes with the boroscopes is a 8.5 millimeter imager head, which will take care of most applications that you need to look at, but we do have a 5.5 millimeter imager head, and the one that is on the BK5600 is 3.8 millimeter. Nine of the 10 most popular diesel engines in the marketplace here in the US have a glow plug port that is five millimeters, and if you want to see a cylinder within one of those engines, you would need to have this 3.8 millimeter. The technology here is great. I'm seeing one other imager over here. And what does that do? So it's a true UV light imager. And what that can help you with is looking at an AC system for leaks. We can pump dye into that system. But what if the leak is not within your line of sight? So the beauty of putting this on one of these is you can get back behind the radiator or behind a condenser or the backside of a hose by having that UV light on there, it'll fluoresce and you'll see it on the screen.